MustangMedic.com. The 1966 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. Well, it's a sunny day in Palm Springs. It's getting warmer, guys. On to the 66. We are going to be jacking her up today and getting underneath her, dropping the uh, transmission bracket, getting access to that uh, that little broken nut that, that secures the um, spinometer cable. Uh, the spinometer cable and the distributor is shipping out today from Mustang Country International. Again, Alan, thank you for the great pricing. Very grateful. And Zoma as well is grateful. So uh, making progress on her. Thanks for watching, guys. So I, said, I said thanks for watching again in the beginning of the video. Well, I don't know why I do that. I guess I just get, I get full of appreciation as I'm shooting the videos and even in the intro. So here we go. Here's the details. No, backwards video. This is the view of me shooting video of this. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, you can. That little hole right there, there's two fittings for the transmission cooler. And these are the lines down below. I've taken off this, um, this uh, hard fitting. I'll show it to you in a second off of that line. This actually came out of the new um, radiator. So that gives me the fitting size that goes into the radiator for the cooling line. This is the old fitting line that went into the old radiator. So I need to go, I'm going to go over to AutoZone because I can be hands-on over there. And I'm looking for a fitting that threads in here like that and receives that fitting. I need these two fittings so I can put the transmission cooling lines into the radiator. Uh, this should complete the, uh, the radiator install and we can move forward with that and actually getting liquid in there and, and filling it up. So I'm going to be doing a little road trip to AutoZone to get the fittings to connect the transmission cooling lines on the bottom of the radiator. I'm also going to be getting this fuel filter for the carb too at the same time. And I talked to Scotty over at Star. The belt is an inch too long, so it's putting the um, power steering pump all the way out at the end of the adjustment. So I ordered a new belt for the power steering pump, which is going to bring her back down. So that will be here later this afternoon. Okay, Carlos, take her away. All right. So we jacked up the rear end because we're looking into the emergency brakes also. So we're going to be taking those uh, rear, rear tires off. And we've secured it onto the axle on both sides. You'll notice that the line has been disconnected, the vent has been broken off on the, for the rear end so we want to investigate that probably in the near future we want to change out the fluids in here I'll bet you they haven't been changed in eons and we want to replace that line that vent line and also blow into that line to make sure that it's clear and not plugged especially since it's been disconnected for who knows how long so we're gonna look into that but we got her up on all fours and uh, Rear end can be uh, the rear tires coming off soon, and a breakdown of the emergency brake cable system. There's the actual emergency brake uh, cables laying there. Gonna rehook up the uh, power steering uh, lines because now the power steering pump is back in there. Uh, belts on the way. Um, all this underside uh, is going to be dealt with in the near future by Zalmo. Right now, we've just dealt with the engine compartment, and we've gotten the engine cleaned up. But we are going to probably get in here, uh, power washing this again, and wire wheeling and painting while on the car. I don't think uh, Zoma wants to have us dismantle the, uh, the bottom of suspension on this car. We will see what she says. So there's the pipes. They're still not connected yet. They're going to be connected to the manifold shortly. And uh, there's that sparkling engine from the underside. So here we go. Power, ste power steering pump lines. All right, Nick's uniform is done. Da -da -da. Picked up the suit. Gotta love it. Hopefully, uh, Nick is gonna make it to the um, Fabulous Forge Forever show. We are going to be there. New fuel filter uh, for the uh, carburetor. New fuel filter for the line as a backup line. Here is that line. I got a whole bunch of vacuum line just because we're going to need it for the, not only the uh, 66 but the 71 and future cars. So I got 25 feet of that vacuum line. 
We're going to bypass this completely because I'm concerned about not having it an open port. I want to make sure we have, we've got circulation for it. So I went and ordered from Star the um, uh, the fittings that are going to go right to the radiator and it will hose right to the radiator. So we'll be good to go. And Rachel's feeling sick today, so she's at home. Are you too sick to say MustangMedic.com? MustangMedic.com. Oh, look at that. Oh, poor baby. You'll be okay. Smile. That was good. Okay. All right, so that concludes part one. I'm going to do some editing, get this video up. Part two, coming up soon. MustangMedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com